Today we had a fireball that was spotted across South Central high in the sky. Here it is. You can see that bright white flash uh, with the streaking tail coming in behind. It looks like it's headed to the earth and uh, eventually it is, but it's so high it's likely just pushing off into the distance at the same time. Thanks to Ron Alba for sharing this uh, video with us in Midtown Anchorage. It's been interesting to see it from different vantage points. And today Kristen Hansen sharing this one. Look at it streaming there across the sky uh, as she was driving. This is dash cam a video also in Midtown Anchorage headed to the north and there it is she said that at first she thought it was a firework and it just keeps on going you can see about seven seconds uh, this was in the air so pretty impressive again coming in everyone reporting it uh, about the same again coming uh, there from the top uh, left of their view uh, pushing off into the distance down to the bottom right officially 14 people did uh, report this to the American Meteor Society all of those reports uh, were uh, reviewed as accurate, uh, or at least uh, relevant reports. And there's some things that the American Meteor Society looks for when they're looking at these reports. They want to, of course, know the time. And all 14 of those people reporting it uh, yesterday between 10.30 and 10.35 a.m., location was uh, across South Central. Several people on the southern edge of Kenai Peninsula from Homer uh, all the way up into the valley. And then how long were you able to see it? And that's pretty important in determining what it actually is. Uh, I was up there for about five to seven seconds, depending on the vantage point and, and the view that you had. And then they also want to know the brightness. And this is a little bit of a tricky scale. They have a magnitude scale. Uh, and in this case, it was about negative 10 to negative 15. And what that tells you is that it was brighter than Venus, would be in the night sky, but not quite as bright as a half or full moon. So they really uh, try to get people to compare it to other things that we would expect to see uh, in the night sky. So there's a number of things that could have been, but uh, when we talk about meteors, what that is is a meteoroid when it's out in space, it's made of rock or ice. Once it enters into the Earth's atmosphere, that's when it becomes a meteor as it's burning up uh, in our atmosphere. That's normally seen at night, it only lasts for a few seconds, uh, but a fire Ball, that's a bright meteor that can last longer and can be seen during the daytime. And then there's also what we call space junk or space debris. That's something that's man-made, left over from space activity. Often that moves much slower across the sky. You can see it for uh, many seconds, even minutes. If you have time to go, oh, there's something in the sky. Let me get my camera, take it out uh, and take a picture. That's probably not a meteor or fireball. That's more likely to be space junk. But interesting to see. Thank you to all of you who shared your pictures and videos uh, again of the fireball here across South Central. Keep them coming. It is really interesting to see it from different vantage points. And you can check all of those out uh, on our website as well. We're